And have you noticed that it says horsepower? <laughs> Hey, this is Zach and Wyatt, and today I'm going to be going to the Ford dealership and looking at the new Mach-E. I was going to bring my 1967 Anglia with me to show all the people, because no one there knows what this is. Um, but it's kind of going through some stuff right now. Today, we're just going to go in the Subaru and look at the new Mach-E. Ah, damn it. <laughs> all right here it is i guess let's look at the inside uh is that like removable or so that is the e-latch door handle yeah so that is on there the way it works is you're going to push the button mm -hmm. then you use the handle to pull the door open what about the back so the rear works the same way except you're going to use your fingertips after the door pops out they have like a grab Grab oh yeah textures here this is it white this very is very white space gray interior that's one of your choices for the premium package hmm. that's cool and i could get in it and everything absolutely cool yeah one of the most noticeable features is the the sound bar that goes across the front of the dash that's oh this is all the, the speaker BNO speaker wow. system it is 560 watts 10 speakers, including a subwoofer. Damn. Oh, it's got the, the double pull hood latch or boot latch. Double pull hood latch. Because uh, I think minis have that. BMWs and stuff. Yeah, I think a lot of the, the, the newest the newest Fords have that system as well. Oh, okay. Can we look under it? Absolutely, so go ahead and double pull. So is this like a full production one or? This is a pre-production unit. Okay. Ooh, those door handles are cool. These door handles are like uh, 90s Volvos. They have that, that pull handle. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, I can't remember a 90s it's, Volvo. It's for wearing big gloves. Okay. You could just pull it. It's easy. Gotcha. And then after the double pull, all you have to do is lift. Yep. Lift the hood. No more Wyatt hood test. Ooh. So currently this is the Ooh. divider system. You'll, you will be able to remove that and just have an open space. Okay. And then everything under here is just, uh, what 12, do you got, like radiator? 12 volt battery is here. Mm -hmm. There is no radiator. There's no radiator. As far as I know, there's no radiator. It's, really? You know, it's not an internal combustion engine. Well, I mean, the battery uh, like... is liquid conditioned, so there is coolant for the battery. And it's got the uh, Euro Mustang tail lights. And this which looks extremely peelable. I think someone's gonna steal those. And then how do you open the trunk? So if you had the key fob with you, you could do the hands-free with the okay. kick motion. Yep. Otherwise there is, there is a release button on the bottom of the tailgate. Oh, sweet. And it's got this- uh, That's the cargo- Cover. Cover. And it was uh, a nice lightweight fabric. Oh. There is a two position trunk floor. This, Ooh, is, this cool. is the high position. So when you fold the seats flat, it's all flat. It's kind of a flat. Mm -hmm. You can drop it down one level. You have more, oh, sweet. More items to store. And what's under here? Just this fix where, a yeah, flat? That's where they keep the inflator kit and the charge cord. Oh, cool. Sweet. And you do it. There's a 12 volt power source back here. Okay. There is a light for the cargo compartments. Yeah. You can program the tailgate height. Oh, cool. So if, you, if you have a low like overhead that. garage. You position the hatch where you need it. Mm -hmm. You press and hold the button until it beeps, and it'll, oh. it'll only open to that level. That's pretty cool, and that's just a regular button under Correct. there. Yep. And it's got the classic Ford Michigan plates. The premium package gets you the 19-inch wheels with the machine finish. Ooh, the black, they have smaller ones? Black painted pockets. Not in the premium. Premiums come with 19 inches. Okay. The Select has an 18-inch standard, 19-inch option. Oh, that's good. California Raw one has an 18-inch wheel. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I'm one of those people that prefers kind of 18 inch wheels, sure. just to have more tire, a little more suspension right, to be had. Right. Uh, and then these ones are Michelin Primacy, 
uh, all seasons. They're for performance. Uh, the Teslas have Michelin premises as well, but those are the MXM V4s and they have like a foam belt on the inside to be quiet. Okay. Um, these ones don't say anything about being quiet. It's kind of more performance. True. So that's kind of interesting. I love this little corner window. And that body line is good. Yeah, you got the nice wide haunches, rear fender flares. Yeah, I like that. Definitely a Mustang styling cube. And then this is the Mach E 4X, so it's four wheel drive with long range battery. That is correct. Uh, cool. Standard range, four for all wheel drive. The Ford does a nice trick on the roof height. So if you follow oh, the yeah. color, the roof really slopes down. It's kind of like the eye pace, but less dramatic. And then, yeah, they, then they, paint, they paint the roof black. It's kind of a visual cue. Or it looks like it's really sloping down, but you're not sacrificing any rear headroom. These lights are cool. Yeah, the premium model has the signature lighting. Oh, okay. It has the uh, LED projector headlamps. But like the select model just has the LED reflector headlamps. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Without the signature lighting. Huh. And then it's got these vents. That's for the active grill shutter. They're, they're active? active? They look active. That's awesome. Yeah, active so they'll open shutter, up. Depending on... Like the outside temperature, your speeds, and uh, your your temperature levels, that those can open and close as necessary. And the brakes are gigantic, so big. It's got the standard Ford lug nuts made of rubber. And the charge port, how do you open it? It's just a simple push on the right side. Oh, cool, like a gas tank, like the Ford gas tanks. Exactly. So that is your, this is where you're gonna plug in your <laughs> industry standard SAE1772 charge plug. Okay. When you go to the DC fast charge stations, oh, you're cool. gonna drop that down and that'll, that'll take the combined charger plug. Very cool. And this is to unlock it so people don't steal the electricity out, I assume? Each one of these quadrants represents 20% of the battery charge. Mm. So depending on how many are lit up, that is your battery charge percentage. And have you noticed that it says horsepower? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because that is a horse <laughs> yeah horsepower that's, i guess that's uh that's an easter egg of this car that's, that's the only one i've found so far i haven't seen anything really uh that's hilarious odd and mustang like i really like the the lower tray yeah right isn't that great <laughs> that's awesome yeah, I would tell people about it. I think, I think some people uh, would get so a now, kick out of that. From here on forward, I'm gonna point that out. <laughs> See, this is where the horsepower comes from. And uh, is there uh, available soft closed doors, do you know? No. Does not? No, okay. not like the Lincolns. Yeah, that's one of my favorite features that Ford has ever done. I've just always like really liked the idea of just going like that and it closing, right. but well, the nice thing, uh, we'll, we'll demonstrate the e-latch one more time. So let's say you release it. Yep. You can't push it back in and, like, get your fingers caught on the, oh, on the initial it's open. Oh, Wow, that's interesting. The same thing on the rear door as well. Yeah. I believe there's, like, a, there's like a lever that kind of pops out. And, and I like how much these doors, like, go down as well. Yeah, it kind of wraps they, around the yeah. rocker. Yeah. That's interesting. And they've even made the inside rocker look kind of cool. Huh. That's cool. And then, like, the same thing with the rear. Once you pop it, you wouldn't be able to, like, get your wow. fingers caught in there. You got the leather on the back. It's kind of... Oh, it's cloth. That's this interesting. Is, this is called... Well, the, the seat material is called ActiveX. It's oh. Ford's brand of synthetic leather. Oh, okay. So it's not leather. It is, we're not using any real leather on the It feels really good. And on the premium package, you get the perforated treatment. Okay. Yeah, I like the I like the perforated. And then this material I've never seen before. This is kind of interesting. Good way to hide the zippers on the sides for the airbags. And then what do we got in the middle? Two little vents. USB. Ports. Ooh, I like that. The the panoramic roof has like a divot thing. And then oh yeah, I forgot to talk about these. So these come in matte plastic, right? We called it uh, molded in color. So okay. Essentially, it's, it's, it's you know, that black plastic. Yeah. So there's a black plastic on the base one, and then this one's a premier? This is a premium trim. Premium? High gloss black. Okay. If, you get, and then, if you're lucky enough to have a, a first edition on order, mm -hmm. these wheel arch moldings will be body color. I think that's going to look interesting. 
Okay. I like how there's I like how there's different color combinations for different options. Right. And on, also in that first edition, you'll have red painted brake calipers. Oh, okay. You'll have unique sill plates on the on the first edition. Oh. And you'll have aluminum pedal covers as well. Oh my God! It's Will. What are you doing, Will? What do you think? What do you think about the Mach E, Will? It's you're gonna be on YouTube. It's I'm different. sorry. It's different. What do you think is gonna be the first thing that breaks that you're gonna have to fix? 360 camera system. Oh really? Are they having issues? <laughs> Sensors behind there. Oh yeah. Have you seen those? They're they're active opening and closing, so those are probably gonna fail too. Hey, it's Reno! now. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Caitlin says bye. We'll see you in the next one.